815 Eastern time on Saturday night. It's the Dolphins at the Bills, and the weather is going to be uh, a key factor in this one. It'll likely be the first game in freezing temperatures. The Dolphins will have played in about five years, and it might be snowing as well. Did you know the uh, Dolphins brought out heaters for their game in L.A.? Yeah. <laughs> that is not a good sign is, for a yeah. group that is going to have to go in, in freezing frigid temperatures in, in Buffalo, which, by the way, it's usually pretty windy there, too, in that stadium. Th this just sets up to be a disastrous three-game stretch for the Dolphins. They have to go back to back to back on the road now. And, Pete, I don't know how you kind of feel watching it. It feels like everyone's got the game plan defensively to slow down the passing attack. Um, softer zone coverage, getting the linebackers and that, those kind of second-level defenders deeper in their coverage to take away the intermediate routes. And it's really frustrated, too. It's frustrated Tyree Kill, and it's just kind of stymied their offensive production. So I, I look at it and say it's a big number for a divisional game, but I'll lay the seven and a half points. Right now, the Dolphins do not look like they're, they're – they got something wrong. Something's not right. In breaking routes, they run a ton of them. Yeah. Well, everybody's playing inside with the leverage. Inside leverage. They got this – like you mentioned, the linebackers are dropping deeper. Those in routes aren't there. And so what do you have to do? You have to adjust. This is an enormous week for Mike McDaniel. An enormous week. Everything was fun early in the season. Hey, you're winning. He's different. He's happy. Look, he's so much different than every other ogre in this league. And they're winning. Well, now there's a challenge for Mike McDaniel. Turn it around. Because if you don't turn it around, you're staring at the potential of not making the postseason. How about that? Think about their schedule. It's tough. They have the Patriots, they have the Jets, and they have the Packers left after this game. There's a chance the Miami Dolphins could go from this high-flying offense to not making the postseason. Mike McDaniel, you're on alert. Tua, you're on alert. And it's big for both of them this week. Having said all that, Buffalo's going to win the game. They should have beat them the first time. They dominated. That game went up and down the field, didn't score in the red zone. They did win, but yeah. Uh, and they will beat them this time. Okay. Uh, the one addition, too, for the Bills, probably a key addition, but I don't know if anyone's going to acknowledge this, Cole Beasley. Like, I feel like they've been kind of missing something in the passing game. When McKenzie's hands have been terrible. His hands have been bad, but also when they've taken away digs, it's like on third down, I mean, Allen's running around looking for someone. That used to be Cole Beasley, and Dawson Knox has kind of played that role, and obviously there's Gabe Davis, but I think now Cole Beasley helps kind of bring it all together where you have so much you have to deal with and worry about, and now having that simple completion to a guy that can get open, he knows where the sticks are, he knows how to, how to move the chains, that, to me, is going to be a bigger addition than people realize for the Bills as they go on in the playoffs. Is Miami in trouble? Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, look, I think this, this is about – NFL always has been a game of adjustments. And it also goes week to week. It's not just in-game and how you make them through the first half and the second half. And this is, a, this is a point now where I think you do have to look at Mike McDaniel and his staff and Tua Tungle below and say, what's your second act? You know, what can you go to to help eliminate some of what we've seen in the past couple of weeks? And granted, playing good football teams, but still – they, if they're, if they're you know, considered one of those good football teams, they've got to figure out what that counter is to add what, every, what everyone's doing right now as far as inside leverage, soft zone coverage, getting a lot more depth, keeping everything in front of them because they have not been able to dink and dunk their way or run the football to their way to be They didn't run at all. Games. They didn't even run the ball. That's what they need to do. That offense is predicated on running the football. You have to be able to run the football. That's something they have to do this week against Buffalo. And right now only a one-game cushion in that playoff race. The Dolphins would be in as of right now, but a bunch of teams at 7-6 and six chasing them. Total agreement here. Vikings minus 4, Ooh. Browns 2.5, minus 2.5. Bills minus 7.5 here from uh, Pete and Brady. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.